All right, I'm gonna do a review of this really different kind of physics toy. It's called a loop lasso. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. It's a one trick pony, but when you get it going right, it does look pretty cool. You do have to be careful not to get it into knots because that can certainly happen. It comes with three different colors of thread. Got this kind of neon green, yellow, this kind of neon pinkish orange and the white, which I've already installed onto the device. Also comes with a charger cord. It's USB-C and it'll plug right there into the device. So the thread is not attached when you first get it. I was using the white one before to test it out, which looked pretty cool in the dark. Kind of gives a bluish glow to it. But let me put on this one here to show you how it attaches to the device. You just slide it into that crevice there, that line, and it slides all the way in just like that. Goes in through there, down this crack, and then out through that hole right there. So pretty easy. Before turning it on, you wanna make sure that there are no knots in the thread, and there are not. So the device itself is pretty simple. You have this little rotator dial that'll affect how fast the motor is going and you have a button for the light. The light just clicks on and off. If it's not a black light, it sure looks like one. Pretty sure it is. So once you turn that on, then you're just gonna push up this dial here. It'll click on and you can hear it on. That's the motor going and you can push it up and it'll start feeding that thread through just like that. The real magic happens when the light in the room is off though. So let me go do that. All right, as you can tell the light in the room is off. You can certainly use this as a flashlight. <laughs> Just shining this light on the thread shows you how much that thread glows. Very cool neon look to it. So let's turn this on and see how it looks. Pretty cool. If the thread hits anything, it will disturb how the motor is going, but you can just turn it off, make sure the thread is clear, and then turn it back on again. We will use it over here where I have more room. I feel like because of frame rates, the camera isn't completely showing me exactly what I see. Let me adjust it to 60 frames per second and see if that fixes that. That seems to be a bit closer to me. It's really hard to describe. It's a very surreal look to it, honestly. I'm gonna swap it to the neon green one and see how that looks. All right, here's the neon green. Very cool. I think the green might be my favorite. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna switch it back to the white one just because I haven't shown you that one just yet. All right, here's the white one. And as you can tell, it glows a really good black light type blue. Let's test it out. Okay, I think I lied. I think I like the white one the best. It just glows really, really good. So definitely a very interesting device, very different kind of device. If your kids like physics toys or light up toys, this could be a fun addition. I've definitely never seen anything like it. It's pretty cool. I like it. If you'd like to purchase it, there's a link in the description. We get a small commission and it would really help us out. I'm Chris and with my wife, Abby's help, I'm on a quest to review literally everything sold on Amazon. So if there's something that you need a review of, literally just tell me, let me know in a comment and I'll literally buy it and just review it for you. Literally. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense.